And former President Trump's legal team says cell phone data shows the Fulton County DA is lying about the timing of her affair with a special prosecutor. Their affair has been under the microscope, with Trump and his co-defendants arguing it created a conflict of interest in the Georgia election interference case. A judge is expected to decide soon whether to disqualify DA Fawny Willis. And according to a new court filing, the relationship may have begun months earlier than Willis and Nathan Wade claim. On the stand, Willis angrily denied any wrongdoing that would merit being taken off the case. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. I'm not a hostile witness. I very much want to be. We have defined personal as romantic. It is an inaccurate way to state the question. And I will as... certainly restate it so it is very accurate. Okay, and please do not yell at me. And joining us now is trial attorney John Fishwick, former U.S. attorney for the Western District of Virginia. Uh, wonderful to have you, John. So how damning are these records? Through these digital and text message revelations, has the defense successfully made the case for disqualification of these prosecutors, in your view? Kelly, this is very powerful evidence. This evidence puts Nathan Wade at Fonnie Willis's house 35 times before he was hired as the special prosecutor in the case also reflects an you know an inordinate amount of phone calls and texts between the two of them before he was hired so i think it will certainly strengthen the the movement to have her removed from the case that they had a personal relationship before he was hired uh, judge mcafee is going to have to make that determination but after all phone have evidence where people are standing and and living and located and then also the, the inordinate amount of Texas. I think it's going to be powerful evidence for Judge McAfee. Uh, I think he's likely to find that there's a conflict of interest and in remove both of them from the case and ultimately the Fulton County Prosecutor's Office. When do you think we will know whether or not these records will be admitted into evidence by the judge? And either way, uh, these records have been made public. So has the real damage already been done in this case? Kelly, I think the damage has been done. After all, the judge, even if he excludes them, he's going to look at these records. So he's going to see these records as he makes his decision. And I think Judge McAfee is likely to say, I'm going to admit these records. They're probative of whether they had a personal relationship. It's, this is cell phone evidence that's used in many, many criminal cases. So he's going to rely on that as part of his decision. There's a hearing set for this Friday where the lawyers are going to argue it. One of the things Judge McAfee, I guess, will have to decide, is he going to take more evidence? I don't think he will. I think he's going to uh, look at this phone evidence. There's already been one witness who has testified that they had a personal relationship before Nathan Wade was hired. So I think the judge has enough to rule. And remember, Kelly, he said, if there's an appearance of impropriety, I could remove them from the case. And there's no question that that has been met at this at this point. You know, drawing on your expertise, uh, John, how do you anticipate Willis and Wade will fight these accusations? Moving forward, what do you believe we'll be hearing uh, from their side in this case? Kelly, I think they're just going to hunker down. You know, their response to the phone records was, you haven't proved anything. This doesn't show 100 percent that he was in the house. This just shows that there was contact between them by phone and text. After all, when she testified, her lawyers didn't question her. I think they're going to try to not put on any more evidence and just say, you haven't proved anything. We deny that there was a personal relationship. Judge McAfee, you should find that there wasn't a personal relationship. Let us stay in the case. But I don't think they're going to put on any more evidence. They're going to try to shut it down and say they haven't met their burden of proof. We should stay on the case. Now, some say Fonnie Willis will be lucky to get out with her law license intact. What sort of implications, John, do you see this new information having, not only for Willis, but for the future of the former president's case as well? Well, I think the defense lawyers are going to come out swinging on this. They're going to say, look, you have misrepresented when the relationship started. You've misrepresented that to a judge. So that's a very serious allegation that has very serious consequences if proven uh, to both Fonnie Willis and to Nathan Wade. But I think the judge is going to look at have they met the burden of proof of was there a personal relationship? And this phone evidence is very strong. Uh, it certainly puts him in her house on a 35 times before he was hired. That's a lot of times to be in somebody's house that you're going to work for. So I think that's strong circumstantial evidence. You you couple that with Nathan Yurdy's testimony, the independent witness who said 
they had a personal relationship. I think there's enough evidence there for the judge to find that. And then I think that's going to be an ongoing issue for Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis as to whether they were honest with the court. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.